The Million Dollar Band is back in full swing. They are now able to have all members perform in the stands before and during the game. WVUA 23's Anjane Robinson tacked along during practice and tells us what we can expect from them this football season. Anjane. Well, Tamika, back in 2020, the Million Dollar Band faced multiple obstacles that they now have overcome, and they can't wait to show everyone what they've been working on. The blessing of being able to be doing what we love is not lost on us at all. The Million Dollar Band was only allowed 100 members to perform in the stands. No members were allowed on the field during halftime and their facility suffered fire damages. The director of the Million Dollar Band says he's very excited to have everyone back performing again. Put some new surprises in, in pregame. Uh, I've actually worked with an animator this summer to improve the elephant walk down the field and uh, the trunk raise, so we're excited about that. We added a new counter march, so uh, pregame should be very exciting. And our halftime show is called Celebrating 18, so it's a salute to the national championship last year. Sarah Hicks is headed into her second year with the Million Dollar Band, and she says it's the best feeling to be back. The first time at band camp that we got to play Yay Alabama with all 400 members, I will never forget that moment. Just getting to stand amongst that many people and to hear that much sound and to be a part of that team is so cool, especially after having to start freshman year um, with such a unique band experience. It's so exciting and such a blessing to be back and doing marching band full on this year. <laughs> The Million Dollar Band does a rehearsal every Saturday morning and anyone can come to Butler Field to watch from 8 to 10 a.m. The Elephant Stomp Pep Rally with the Million Dollar Band will be at 2 p.m. and then they will march to the Walk of Champions before kickoff. Reporting, I'm Ajne Robinson, WVUA 23 News.